My name is Dave Callahan. I'm a professional film projectionist and I've uh, been working in the industry since 1971. My boss is the projector. As a projectionist, what am I doing? And I spent many, many years thinking about this. And finally, it just the light bulb went on. And I said, you know what? A movie is a recording. And my job is to take that recording and reproduce it and exhibit it to the audience. You know, all the equipment has to be operational. So you have to know that your lamp works, that your projector runs. Now with the, with the digital equipment we have, there's a server that's built in to the projector as just another card, that like where there's an input card and so on. Well, now the server is in the projector and you ingest content and so on to that. So it's important that you're, you've got the correct version. You've gone and done a sound check to make sure the dialogue is at the correct level. You then take a look and say, well, is my projector still in focus? So you have to look, and until you know, you can't say, let the, let the public in. And then the schedule is never the same in terms of what's screened from one day to the next here at the light box. And if the aspect ratio changes, then you, you have to look at the materials you're working with, the content, whether it's a digital file or it's a film print or it's 16 millimeter, 70 millimeter, whatever. As a projectionist, the, it's anticipated that you can run film prints, you can run video formats, whether it's on tape. So much of what we do is based on making decisions about how is this properly reproduced for the audience. So what the filmmakers have put onto that disc or on that film print, that's what the audience gets. And in a sense, if people know I'm working, it, you, it might mean that, oh, what went wrong? Because if everything goes right, no one knows I'm working. You say, well, do we really need these, these, these projectionists? Say yes, because the reason everything did go right is because we know to do these checks. My apprenticeship started in June of 1971. So it's been 50 years since you've yes. been working this career. Yes. Do you still love what you do? When I'm here at the TIFF and I can have access to archival materials and 5 per 70 and artist works that are in 16 millimeter, yes. As with any craft, to become a master requires years of experience and exposure to many different situations. It has been my experience, however, that no single piece of equipment or procedure or technique is really complicated. There is no one thing that cannot be explained and understood in less than 10 minutes. Making movies is the artful application of millions of relatively simple details. That's what I would say about film projection. It's exactly the same thing.